Now, as we take a close look at my face, we can distinguish how soft and vibrant Juvia's Place Foundation Sticks has done to my skin, okay? And what I like most is how light and soft it feels, and yet it blends seamlessly to complement my natural skin tones, because I was going for a natural look and we got that, okay? Juvia's Place Foundation Sticks was released on October 5th of this year and has 30 shades with soft matte coverage retailing for only $16, okay? Juvia's Place Foundation Sticks line is available at Ulta Beauty Store Stores, and you can order it online via www.juviusplace.com. And when visiting their website, be sure to use the code WHYNO to get 10% off on all products. Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. All right, now I'm going to take my last sip, okay, of this wine because I have to do this very intense commentary that you guys have been waiting for, okay? I've been waiting all this time to expose the savages, but I didn't actually have no receipts, but now I got them, okay? So let me take this sip. Mm -hmm. mm. And I'm really doing this for Joycelyn, all right? Because Joycelyn honestly gets a check. Not that it's funny, but she gets a check, okay? Because she ain't all the way there, all right? They have not really shared that with the public, but I think everybody should know. Joycelyn don't want nothing to do with her family, and I understand why, and I'm about to give it to you. Now, just in case y'all haven't been following, you probably have, there's been a page claiming to be Joycelyn Savage, okay? This page seemingly posted that they had a story to tell. Everybody took it and ran with it because it has been an inactive Instagram account, okay? The last time someone posted on this was back in 2015. It was actually Joycelyn's pictures, and Joycelyn at one time did have control over this account, but I'm here to tell you her parents, all right? Per their words, not mine, honestly got access to this account. Now, I'm not telling you that they're behind this account now. They've been taking all y'all money on Patreon, but I'm going to paint a really good picture here with some receipts, and you can just make up your own. Oh my, but I do know for a fact, the Savages and I know, Joycelyn Savage's parents, okay, R. Kelly's last standing girlfriend. I told you Azrael has sort of left, okay? She's left, she's not in the house no more. Neither one of them are in the Trump Tower, the lease is up. Joycelyn is staying with a woman named Taylor Bird Smith. We actually spoke this morning, I'm not gonna be releasing the call unless Joycelyn does not issue a statement stating that that is not her account that is actually scamming people for money, okay? Telling a fake, very generic ass story. Now, I know that Joycelyn's parents gained access to her iCloud, okay? They gained access to her emails. They were recording her when she was on the phone with R. Kelly, putting out that she may have herpes and STDs. I did take part in that. I have since issued an apology. Now, after I spoke to Taylor, the woman that Joycelyn is with, okay? I told y'all during my live last week that I've gained access to R. Kelly's emails between him and Joycelyn. That's how I found out that Azrael left because she actually emailed R. Kelly and I read some of those emails. And for those of y'all that want to see see an actual email, I'm going to link it below using a Google Doc, okay? It's not gonna be on my website or anything. You guys are just gonna click that link and you'll be able to read the same email that I told y'all about last week on this platform to prove what I'm telling you now, okay? That Joycelyn is still there. She's now taking control. Actually, Azrael, even though Azrael was with her dad, she's now on her own in her own space. She's now emailing R. Kelly again, but Azrael has always been R. Kelly's favorite and he trusts her, okay? Now, he hasn't added Joycelyn yet to the visitors list. All he has to do is go down there and ask. It's not a big deal. He keeps promising her that he's going to do it and you're going to see that actually in the email that I have that I'm providing to you all, okay? For those of y'all that have questions, all right, about who has the real wine on this whole R. Kelly shit, okay? I have from the beginning and I'm going to keep bringing it to y'all. Now, on to this account claiming to be Joycelyn Savage, I know for a fact that it's not her. If she has not already released a statement, by the time you're viewing this video now, she is gonna release a statement, and if she doesn't, I will release the recording between me and her keeper, Taylor Bird Smith, actually trying to convince her to release a statement, okay? Because I personally feel the reason, before I get into these receipts on who the Savages really are and why Joycelyn really doesn't wanna go home, okay, since they wanna challenge my credibility, I'm gonna show you 
me some motherfucking credibility right here today, okay? Hold that thought. But since everybody, every single blog, media outlet has taken this account without someone actually making a video or a story, all we saw was shoes. We saw that they were in New York. And the only people that I know that were in New York the same time this bogus ass account was posted from New York were her parents doing an interview with Good Morning America two days after that account went live and took y'all damn money. Take a look. Now to singer R. Kelly facing sex abuse charges, his girlfriend, Joycelyn Savage, going online sharing about their relationship. ABC's Kaylee Hartung with what she is saying this morning. This morning, a woman known for being one of R. Kelly's girlfriends and publicly defending the disgraced musician, now saying she's one of his victims and ready to reveal her secrets. Joycelyn Savage is speaking out against Kelly for the first time, saying she's willing to risk it all on the website Patreon, a paid membership platform. Patreon confirming someone by that name owns the account, but does not confirm it is this Joycelyn Savage. In her first post, she details how Kelly commanded her to call him master or daddy. While living together, she describes how it started getting worse by day by day and says, as one of his victim, yes, victim, I've seen more and heard more. She's ready to tell the truth. Overnight, in another post on Patreon, Joycelyn writing, he told me I couldn't do certain stuff without him knowing first. It's been nearly three years since Joycelyn's parents last saw their daughter. Joycelyn, now 24, was 19 years old when she moved in with Kelly. The divide in the family growing deeper as her parents alleged Kelly brainwashed Joycelyn and kept her against her will. Claims Joycelyn fiercely denied until now. She's came out with statements that we have been saying for the last two and a half years. And it's pretty accurate. With Robert in jail, does that give you... Any solace that she is safer than she was before he went to jail? I believe one of the primary reasons um, that she has has the courage to speak up is because she knows he's actually in jail. Now I want y'all to know the only reason I feel this account was created was one to scam okay because somebody needed some money and I know personally that the savages are broke as hell okay I saw Jonjolin two weeks ago here in my house and sis had lipstick all around here makeup holes and shit in her face makeup three shades lighter clothes all messed up and she was drinking my wine like a professional damn drunk I only drink wine when I make videos or when I go out socially. But she drinking wine at 10.30 in the morning, okay? And word on the street is that she has a pill problem as well. That's why she was throwing up in the BBC documentary. Jonja. Yes. Jonja. Yes. Yeah. Really, that's, that's pure. <laughs> just kind of stress. She's just been stressed out because of what's going on with her daughter. Meeting Joycelyn's mammy. That's probably why she don't want to go home. But I'm gonna give you some more. Now, not only was that account created for a scam and it actually worked, and I'm shocked that none of these major media outlets, when they saw this account, say that they have partnered with Patreon and Patreon didn't even co-sign the partnership because normally when you partner with somebody, they co-sign the partnership, but Patreon didn't. And this account actually created a regular Patreon account, not an exclusive account, nothing with no perks, just a regular Patreon account just to give y'all some shit that had promised y'all they were gonna post a video first, but then once you paid to get in, they were actually writing bogus ass lies. Now I know that R. Kelly's lawyer has since blasted Joycelyn because he believed it to be Joycelyn because they're not allowed to have any communication with anybody. R. Kelly still maintains control over Joycelyn and I honestly think Joycelyn is gonna stay until she figures out that R. Kelly is not coming home. And like I said, the only reason this Instagram account was created was to create friction between Joycelyn and R. Kelly because she cannot go and see him yet because he has not added her her 
to the visitors list. So when the lawyer actually goes to meet with R. Kelly, he tells R. Kelly, Joycelyn is online from an account that she once had. But like I said, her parents actually got a hold to her iCloud and got emails and recordings and all kind of stuff on their daughter, okay? I know for a fact that Tim Savage walks around with a big ass hard drive. It's a big black hard drive full of recordings, ready to record on site. And I don't understand if you're innocent, why are you recording people, okay? If you have nothing to hide, why are you recording people? Because they're trying to set people up because they have money to make. And I'm gonna prove that here in a second with these damn recordings in Tim's voice. These are exclusive recordings that you're gonna hear first on this channel today. Now, when R. Kelly finds out about Joycelyn supposedly turning on him, which she hasn't, okay? She is riding to the damn wheels fall off. That is valid. The person that created the scam account's intentions were to force Joycelyn to have to come home because if R. Kelly didn't trust her, which he already don't trust her, this is probably gonna make him not trust her even more. And this is why I personally think the parents are behind it. I don't have any proof, but it's just a strong damn coincidence that when they were posted from uh, New York at the Trump Tower, okay, the savages were in New York at the same motherfucking time, okay? And I know I'm not supposed to say motherfucker because my husband told me don't say motherfucker, but they don't piss me the fuck off, okay? And so I personally know that the savages are pissed off that every single girl is back home with their parents, although I have exposed some of those parents, I've taken it really light on the savages, okay, for a reason, because they have given me a lot of the exclusive wine on this channel, but I honestly knew that it was for a check, okay? They had deals that they had to solidify with Lifetime, with BBC, they were trying to get a reality show. Take a look at their YouTube channel here, okay? Does this look like a family that's missing their daughter, okay? Although we've seen them out on the street yelling at the publicist, talking about, where's my daughter? I need proof of life. The Lifetime cameras were there. That's the only reason they were in Chicago. Because honestly, I heard that Jonjolin got a pill habit to support, and that's expensive, all right? That's what I heard. Mm -hmm, mm. That ain't no receipt, that's just my opinion. Because everybody that's around her have seen her pop one or two, okay? That's what I'm just telling you. Now, I've always known the savages were up to no good after I peeped them after a year of working with them. But like I said, we had wine to spill, okay? So I had to play my cards right. But I knew their asses was up to something and I'm proud to have exclusive recordings here that are Tim, no damn allegedly, Tim Savage, Joycelyn Savage's father, okay? The man that orchestrated a publicity campaign to inform the world that his his daughter had herpes and that she was a whore, okay? But with this recording, you're going to hear who Tim Savage really is and the reason why he was on documentary number one, documentary number two, trying to get a reality show page and much, much more. And putting police reports on everybody that has tried to speak out on this and even threaten them with lawyers. I told him to call mine today. They'll be expecting his damn call. But take a listen to this damn recording. Pull your wine. I mean, tell, tell Rob he, he can do what he gonna do. I go out and make my me, and uh, you know he got a, he got a nice wife wife for him. I mean, tell tell Rob he he can do what he gonna do. I go out and make my me, and uh, you know he got a, he got a nice wife wife for him. I'm like I said, you, you should talk to him. I ain't saying who else should talk to him with you, but you should. Now, the reason they're trying to discredit me and they're asking to speak to lawyers because they were trying to convince me that that was Joycelyn's page. And I knew it wasn't Joycelyn's page because I'm watching Joycelyn email R. Kelly every damn day, okay? And they're mad because I won't give them Joycelyn's contact information anymore. So that's why they wanted to involve their lawyers. They're trying to control the narrative, but they can't control it here because all that you see, these documentaries, the the reality show page and social media and them flying okay to New York I'm just trying to figure out why they out here demanding to see their daughter and Tim is in this recording right here saying that he was done with his motherfucking daughter hey huh? she don't need me at this point man she got hey, she's right she's a whole she don't need you but she won't you. no 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 you won't she don't right at this particular point she does she need her father me. I don't give a fuck with nobody that's her man but she needs her father but her father's against her right now that's how she feels. I'm not getting her, bro. I'm done with you. That's how she feels? I'm, I'm, no, I'm you ain't done. done. You that's your daughter. She's your daughter forever. Tim, Tim, that's your daughter till the day you die, she die. Hey, huh? she don't need me at this point, man. She got me. Hey, she's right. She's all, but she don't need you, but she wants you. No, 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 you won't. She don't. Right at this particular point, she does she need her father. Me. I don't give a fuck with nobody. That's her man, but she needs her father. But her father's against her right now. That's how she feels. I'm not getting her, bro. I'm done with you. That's how she feels? I'm not no, you ain't done. You that's want, your daughter. Man. She your daughter forever. Tim, Tim, that's your daughter till the day you die, she die. And I'm also surprised 
that Tim is actually in court trying to prove that R. Kelly's accredited manager, James Mason, threatened to kill him. But I have a recording here of Tim actually threatening to kill a good friend of mine. Take a look at this. No. Oh. That face needs to get her ass kicked. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check her motherfucking ass. Okay, well. I pulled her mama to the side. We was in that goddamn room. And I told her mama, I said, you need to check your daughter. I, I got four hours of motherfucking audio tape and video tape. You need to check that bitch and put her where she belongs. Because her ass is like a loose cannon right now. Now, people eat up in boxes when they motherfucking ass like a loose cannon. Because her ass is like a loose cannon right now. Now, people eat up in boxes when they motherfucking ass like a loose cannon. Now, I just want you to know that the savages have honestly burned every bridge that they have, okay? Now, Lifetime is currently filming a documentary involving the parents. Every single parent that's on this documentary has their child, but they don't, okay? And what better way than to create a storyline using this Instagram account because all of that will possibly be put into the documentary, okay? They haven't seen or talked to their daughter since 2016. So it's just mighty strange that Jonjolin is doing an interview with Good Morning America confirming that that was her damn daughter. I honestly think, yeah, they probably did damn create this page, but I can't prove that, okay? But what I can prove is that they asses was in this for millions. Tell him, Tim, again. Tell him, Tim. Tell him, Tim. I mean, tell, tell Rob, he, he can do what he gonna do. I go out and make my me. And, uh, you know, he got, he got a little white, white form. And so after you click the link below to actually read the recent emails and you will see where Joycelyn is at, okay? And how her and R. Kelly communicate. He got that girl ass under a spell. She ain't going home and I don't blame her, okay? What she's going to go home for? To be exploited like she's being exploited now for a cheap ass check on Patreon. All she made was like $2,000. This girl has the most powerful story on the internet, okay? Mainly because of all the shit that her parents have stirred up up just to get a check only to use it to support John Jolin's supposed pill habit okay that's what I was told now listen if you guys have any questions as to Jocelyn's real Instagram page here it is right now I am Joy Savage this is her actual page okay and like I said if she hasn't released a statement already to shut this down I know somebody was working with her to orchestrate the statement so that this lie would it continue to go on I will personally release what I have to prove that she was not running this Instagram account, even though she probably does have reasons to run it because she's living in a hotel because the lease is up on the Trump Tower. But honestly, R. Kelly got those Kelly sisters, those fake sisters, honestly working at the gas station and Popeyes to make ends meet. They're giving their checks to Taylor and Joycelyn on R. Kelly's behalf because they're honestly just super fans, okay? And really, they should be spending the money on new wigs, okay? That bitch wig's sitting right here. Look at the picture. Now, if you also have questions on ads, Asrael's Instagram page. Here's the Instagram page right here. This is Asrael's page. It says Asrael most wanted. Okay. This is her official Instagram page. She's been on Snapchat. That is a verified account, but this is Asrael's page. And like I said, Asrael, yes, she left R. Kelly. Yes, she's communicating with her family, but honestly, her family wants her to be in communication with them. But if she's going to be in a relationship with R. Kelly, just don't cut your damn family off. But we know R. Kelly is going to try to keep her from her family simply because he's a controlling sociopath, narcissistic motherfucker, just like Joycelyn Savage's daddy, Tim Savage. Okay. And they've honestly burned bridges with every single family, okay? Cash Jones, Kelly Rogers, Faith Rogers, Angelo Clary, Alice Clary, Lifetime, Tamara, the damn producer from Lifetime, James Mason, Geronda, Ashanti, Toxic Diamond, hell, daytime tea time. I don't even really, you know, mess with her like that, okay? But she does good work. Dre and Kelly, and they're on this recording here. As you heard via daytime tea time last year, calling another child that's younger than his a bitch. Take a listen. They do this type of shit. All the mug shots and shit of faith. Oh, yeah. I, I said, this bitch, this, she don't know who the fuck she fuck with. I'm not, I don't fuck with people unless they fuck with me. When you fuck with me, then we got a problem. I don't fuck with people like that. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know what to say. This is... I didn't expect this. No, she missed it in a motherfucker. Who knows I can tell. You? You I can tell. Hearsay. I don't go off a of hearsay. When you call and threaten my daughter and I overhear the conversation, that's not hearsay. That's a motherfucking threat. And my daughter don't give a damn about what's going on with faith and whatever. I could have been exposed that bitch, but I didn't. 
Now, does this sound like a family that truly wants their daughter home? They only want her home or in that situation as long as they can so that they can pay their bills. Okay. They've been trying to be celebrities, but on my watch, this ain't going to work no more. I mean, tell, tell Rob, he, he can do what he going to do. I go out and make my me. And, uh, you know, he got a, he got a Bro, little white, white for him. I'm like I said, him. You, you should talk to him. I ain't saying who else should talk to him with you, but you should. Hey, she huh? don't need me at this point, man. She got Rob. She, right, she, she, don't don't need need she don't need you, but she won't. No, 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 you won't. She don't. But at this particular point, she does I need her father. Me. I don't give a fuck with nobody. That's her man, but she needs her father. But her father's against her right now. That's how she feels. I'm not getting her, bro. I'm done with you. That's how she feels? I'm not getting her. That's your daughter. Man. She's your daughter forever. Tim, Tim, that's your daughter. Till the day you die, she die. Now, cool. My attorneys, Olga, Sadir, y'all gonna have some work to do. Go ahead and send that cease and desist over as ready, okay? Now, moving on to I have to die.